is the first Lega League national final, which is at Loughborough University. The ultimate aim of First Lego League is to try and encourage young people into a STEM career, STEM being science, technology, engineering and maths, by showing how exciting, how engaging and how creative it can be. There's primary school students and secondary school students taking part. There's even teams who have formed from different schools to compete. So now we have teams who are arranged from a size of two people to ten pupils in that team. This year's theme is Senior Solutions, so looking at the challenges that face people when they get beyond the age of 65 and how technology might be used to address those challenges. First LEGO League has four core areas that the teams are being judged on. The first one is the robot game, where they've designed their LEGO Mindstorm robot. The second one is the robot technical design. They have to showcase why and how they built their robot, including the programming to some of our judges. The third stage is the core values, or teamwork. In this case, it's judges asking questions about how they work with the team, and the fourth segment is the presentation. So they've got to present back the project they've been researching on. It's been amazing. Brilliant. It's been brilliant Brilliant. to get to fly over to England and stuff, and the whole experience has been so good. I have never had so much fun. Like, it is just such a great experience. There's so many aspects of the competition. It's just so exciting, but with an educational aspect to it. When they go back to school, there's a major, major difference in like the science project work and the literacy project work. This competition has a massive impact on their learning. One of the reasons that the IET has this strong desire to encourage more young people into science and engineering is because there is a genuine need for them out there. There are just not the engineers and technicians coming through the system to fulfill the demand that there will be. Events like this are excellent because they show young people that if they're creative, they can become engineers. And I'm really hoping that the kids here today would go out and just, you know, carry on with the fun and the excitement that they've had here and hopefully become engineers one day. I definitely want to have a career in sort of technology and computers and stuff, so it's definitely changed my view on things. It makes me want to do a career in engineering a lot more. It gives you experience of what it would be like and the teamwork involved. This has just sort of boosted my confidence about becoming an engineer in some sort of field. If schools want to take part, we'd say do it. Absolutely do it. Because as you look around the event today, you'll see the amount of enthusiasm that is coming from these young people. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for coming out and encouraging your students. They are going to go very far for sure. The Champions Award on Title One! I'm feeling very happy that we got into the semi finals and very happy that we got the um, Team Spirit Award. And I don't really mind that we didn't win. We're just a small school. To come this far is just amazing. And to another school that we're thinking of doing this, I would say that they should definitely give it a go. It's just a practical approach to science, to maths, to technology. I'd say it's brilliant for anyone that wants to do it. It's so much fun and it's worth it. Just have a 